YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And today I have a special guest here to help celebrate the entrance of Yugi Moto into the dark side of Dimensions World. Your boy and mine, Y007. What's good, my boy? Welcome to the video. What's up, everybody? Wad007 here on YT Dance channel. How is everybody doing today? Good, my boy. We're doing good. I hope we're doing good. We're going to go take a look at these Dark Side of Dimensions World mysteries, my boy. And I know that we have been waiting to get in here so we can unlock Yugi. And this is going to be a live reaction. This is my first raw reaction to the new cards for me stuff. a little bit too for yeah. me a little bit too for what a little bit for what a little bit but uh you know but you know he's always up on game because you know he's always you know spying into the leaks but you know i'm you know i like to get exposed as the content comes okay so first thing i gotta say scroll to the right a little bit on your characters okay i want to see some there's like a red square on your thing a red square scroll, like like rotate your thing real quick this i'm one? proud of you for not <laughs> unlocking that guy. I hate Scud. The fact that Scud got to Duel Links before Misty has, okay. Right, right. Misty Treadwell will, Trey Trey will Trey. not come to Duel Links until a prismatic KT Flame Sphinx arrives. I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna nah, happen. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so, so right now on from a level of um, terrible to malefic, where would you put Cubics right now? Bro, <laughs> I mean, at least Malefics are playable. Cubics ain't even at that point yet, bro. They ain't even at that point, dude. So first off, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm a brave man to say it. I'm a big man with a strong chest. Listen, I got these glasses, man. I can read perfectly. I open up this event. What the fuck? You want me to read all of this? <laughs> so I just didn't read any of this. <laughs> And uh, I made a madman deck to farm, and it just so happened to have a blue eyes in it. And when the blue eyes hit, I was like, oh, okay. Well, clearly the blue eyes does much more damage. It does I said, the work. It must be all the monsters from Dark Side of Dimensions movie that deals damage. So I'm gonna build me a blue eyes dark magician deck. And then lo and behold, that was the idea for everybody's farm on YouTube. So I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool. So I, did, I didn't read. Yeah, so what? It, I'm 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 gonna admit it. I didn't read it. I didn't I didn't care. I didn't read, read it. Yu-Gi-Oh players do not read. If you read, why are you even playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Honestly. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh players do not read. This is well, just more factual proof. Well unfortunately unfortunately for um for our illiterate fans here that do not get their read on, we're gonna have to actually get our read on. For Yugi Moto and his I, I numerous did not skills. I did not sign up to read. What the heck, Dan? <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I told you to come in here for this video, and I know you wasn't expecting to read, but God damn it, we're going to have to read such skills like, first off, what is this? Centrif centrification? Oh, I wouldn't know how to pronounce that either. I'm clicking, I'm clicking on that shit. It says, <laughs> turn <laughs> all giant soldiers of stone in the graveyard into sentry soldier of stone what the oh, fuck wait. is that wait was that sentry in the, soldier I'm of stone the leaks right now since the level three oh, yeah yeah that was one of the leaked cards okay okay yeah level three earth rock <laughs> if all monsters you control are rock monsters minimum one while this card is in the graveyard you can special summon this card oh shit um, you can only use the effect of Sentry Soldier once per turn. There is no limit on Tribute. There is no limit on Synchro. Hmm. This, 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 got, this it got my it got my brain juice going. Okay, now that you mention that, so I, I wasn't feeling the card, but now that you mention it, yeah. Ooh, that's actually interesting. But then again, yeah. is there even any good Rock Synchro monsters right now? Well, maybe not Rock Synchro monsters, but I know that there are like, you know, you got the, the ritual spell that you can send normal cards from the deck. And there's also like a Rock Trap card, I believe, that sends a Rock monster oh, from yeah, the deck to the from grave. the graveyard. Yeah. Ooh. And I, I think it either kills the monster or, or puts its attack to zero, one or the other. 
back to warrior sacrifice. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, can be used uh, when you begin your turn with fewer life points than your opponent and you control no cards. I mean, because I was first thinking with that was like, if you're going to start off with lower life points, if you played something like Cyclone, so I don't know if you go like turn one, empty out your hand completely and like set Cyclone turn one and then use it on your opponent's like back row cards or whatever. Maybe you can do something with turn three right here. Um, but yeah, no, select one monster, opponent controls, send a silent sword and monster from a hand in the graveyard until the end of the turn. The attack of the selected monster is decreased by the attack of silent swords. Monster only can be on per duel. Um, yeah, I mean, because I'm guessing like the, yeah, because the control no cards just means um, that you have no cards in your field, though. Yeah, so you can have I cards mean, this in skill, your hand. I mean, this skill is kind of like a hit or miss for me right now. Because yeah. cause you're, you're only going to activate it if you have no cards. So I guess this would be more practical in like a late game situation then. Yeah. Um, instead of like an early game situation, but I feel like you would want to use the skill as early as possible to get the upper hand of your opponent. I don't know how I feel about this skill. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I mean, the only thing I could think of is maybe there's a silent magician uh, spell card is currently limited to two, and you can use that card to boost um, a silent magician by 1500 points, I believe. So I think, hypothetically speaking, if you maybe had that card in your hand, a warrior, and I don't know some silent magician i guess you could maybe drop their attack by some random points summon attack boost and attack in for game i guess but that just sounds just odd very but janky yeah yeah, yeah it's like very janky, janky. unreliable so let's look at spiritual swords of revealing light can't be used in tag duels can't it, was, it can only be used in tag duels wait wait, wait hold on a second that Tag duel, tag duels win, Konami. Wait, okay, okay, okay. Are they are they actually confirming potentially PVP tag duels? That's that would be sick. What would you join me for PVP tag duel extravaganza? Dude, dude, my boy? Shout out to another small YouTuber, iGalaxy, bro. Once he learns about this, he's gonna be so hyped because he would love. Like I would love to do tag duel. Don't get me wrong, but he's been waiting for this for so long, dude. You don't even that, know. That would be sick. Oh my god, dude, dude, for like collaborations and stuff wait no hold on tag wait tag hold on we haven't even got past the period we just went can only be using tag duels stop <laughs> let's let's get let's let's finish the rest of this of this skill <laughs> at the beginning of your first turn place one spiritual swords of revealing light face down on the field what does this card do spiritual swords of revealing light continuous trap currently have zero of these cards once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can pay a thousand of those stangs to negate the attack. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from the graveyard. This turn, your opponent's monsters cannot attack directly. What? That's crazy, especially in tag dueling, because you start off with 6,000, not 4,000. So the paying the 1,000 life points isn't going to be as hurtful if it was in just the 4,000. And it's freaking continuous. Yeah, that Cosmic Cyclone going to have to stay locked on that back row. If you see Dark Side Dimensions Yugi, you got to have that Cosmic Cyclone ready. The card's good. That's probably why it's limited to tag duels. But, like, I'm still blown on the fact that it states can only be used in tag duels. Yes, that's actually... I'm excited about that. And we it's, haven't and even it's got a legendary duelist and PvP reward. Like, you need to do, you need to go into PvP to even unlock it in the first place. That's literally a whole video in itself. Oh actually, my wow, that is that's incredible. Actually, yeah. Okay, let's keep going in these skills because there's probably even more mysteries in the dark side of the ninjas. Let's go up in here. Let's look at the next one. Spiritual spear strike. I was right. It was some Gaia shit. Is it can be used if you control Gaia the Fierce Knight monster with at least 2300 attack or more, or Gaia the Dragon Champion. Play one spiritual spear strike from outside your deck. You can only use this effect once per duel. Spiritual. That's actually pretty good. Um, not spiritual spear. Spiral spear strike. Says if Gaia the Fierce Knight or Swift Gaia the Fierce Knight or Gaia the Dragon Champion, you control, attack the defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. If Gaia the Dragon Champion inflicts battle damage with this effect, draw two cards, then discard one. Damn, I didn't know that. That was actually pretty good. No, this skill, no, this skill's actually really good because the skill states that it can be used if you control a Gaia the Fierce Knight monster, and it has yeah. a quotation mark around it. So that I believe that should mean that it can work on the other ones. 
And I remember yeah. back in the day, you remember that one deck that um, had the uh, Gaia the Fierce Night? It was the effect one that you could summon for free if you had no cards in your oh, hand or something like yeah. that. Oh, yeah, Swift Gaia. Yeah, Swift, Swift Gaia. Gaia. If, you could, if you can combo it with this, that wouldn't be too shabby. Like, that's yeah, honestly that be not that spicy. bad for the whole Gaia archetype. If not, that would, then the skill's kind of like, eh, because I don't know if I'm going to waste the time to go into Ch Dragon Champion than just the vanilla Fierce Knight. But no, Spiral Spear is no, like, Spiral Spear, the Spiral Spike Spear is Strike pretty is pretty good. good, yeah. Piercing damage is mean, always good. Yeah, because even if this meta is very, like, aggro, there's still a lot of times your opponent is going to set monsters. Like, yeah. it still happens more often than you would think. And you can definitely and, I mean, run Kanadia. The fact that it just comes, yeah, it's play one Spiral Spear Strike from outside of your deck, for free, you don't need to waste that in your deck, and you can just run other cards instead of just playing the spear, uh, yeah, spear strike, and you can just use the skill instead. That's honestly not a bad skill for the archetype itself. Yeah, that is pretty spicy. Let's let's hop, hop into this next one. Spell counter boost can only be used by revealing two spell counter cards in your hand. Select one face up card on the field that you can place a spell counter on, and place one spell counter on it. This card, can, this skill can only be used once per turn and twice per duel. Hmm, that's actually pretty interesting because we it's have uh, that level four monster. You can probably get to summon some extra monsters, but you can actually go from you can summon that level four monster. You can use this effect and put two counters on it and special summon um, knight. Uh, damn, what's the name of that uh, level four? Spellcaster monster, level two spellcaster monster. That if this special summon from the graveyard can banish two cards, the tuner. Well, basically, what I'm saying is you can go into a Brionic off of this. Uh, oh, okay. With this skill, so that so the, basically this is telling you you can make one Brionic play uh, <laughs> once per turn and twice per duel. That's kind of sick in and of itself. So so basically, spell counter boost, uh, summon Brionic for game. So, so I do like that, That's, actually. I, I could definitely see some potential from that skill. That's another skill that has some potential for sure. Ah, life charge, uh, skip. Uh, let's see, uh, Karibo Morph. Hell. Yeah. Yeah, Karibo Morph, this is unique. Select one Karibo monster in your hand or on the field. Uh, turn it into the following Karibo monsters. What? <laughs> this skill can only be used once for a duel. This is crazy. Okay, wait. It says you can send select one Karibo monster choose, in I your think. hand or on the field. You can morph. Wait, it says oh, turn it into. Wait. You can run four spear Karibo now. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I thought it was on the field only. You oh, can geez. run four spear oh, Karibo. I mean, low key. You can technically, dude, no, you can like rock three Karibo and then three Spear Karibo and then <laughs> with your you can, one. No, you can run three Spear and one regular and morph the regular one into Spear so you can run four. Yeah, yeah. I know it's like once. Yeah, because it's a once per duel. I know that. But like if you like really were like dead set on Spear Karibo, you can literally rock as many Karibos as you want. And then, like, no matter what, draw to the, like, Spear Karibo or whatever. But actually, the, the one that we should look at is Clear Karibo. This, this is the one, new yeah, one. This was in the leaks. Yeah, this was in the leaks right here. And I don't know what this does. So I guess this is going to be new for me. So Clear Karibo says, during either player's turn, when an opponent activates a monster effect that would inflict damage, you can discard this card to negate the activation. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can banish this card from the graveyard and draw a card. <laughs> is it if it is a monster, you can special summon it? <laughs> is it then change the attack target to that monster? What the fuck? Dude, low key, this skill is like a side deck pretty much. Because yeah, this is, yeah. in this situation, because you can rock your three spear Karibo, and then yeah. by the off chance, you need clear Karibo because your opponent's playing a monster effect deck, or like, you yeah. know, playing a bunch of monster effects that would uh, inflict damage oh to you. God. You can side deck out your spear Karibo, and then rock clear Karibo instead. I'm so hype about this deck for like so many reasons because. Having... I bet your brain was storming the hazies, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, if you run in hazies in this, I would kind of think you probably want to run that uh, 
the uh, uh, Beast Rising Hazy style if you were going to do something like that. And that way you can run like all your Karibos and stuff. But but not even that so much. Like, because what I was really thinking is, you know, because Kyroid is really good, right? Because, you know, it can yeah. stop those two attacks. But having the option to flip flop into these Karibos means that you can run like baby basically two spear and two regular Karibo and your opponent won't know what's in your hand when they attack because when someone attacks and they they feel the delay in the damage step they know okay this is kite roy hey, or they okay, go yeah. oh oh hey this might be Karibo but if you're using this skill there's no telling what it is so you can get I a lot of mind game advantage it, i wonder if you have to oh, i'm curious because you would have to like reveal the Karibo and I would assume that the game would do that. But I wonder if it like doesn't like you the game doesn't show your opponent which one you switch to though. That's what I'm curious about. No, it just says select one Karibo monster in your hand and <sighs> or your man. side of the field and turn That's it crazy, into man. the following. So it's gonna we do that already. There's um there's skills that do that and basically they just show a white background and a card is added. So it's probably not gonna show anything. Yeah. But I, that's just speculation until you boys unlock it. As a gathering of disciples, Dark Magician just got a freaking boost. Can be used by revealing one dank magician in your hand. Add a dank magician girl to the bottom of your deck? It's, wait, it's an add one dark magician girl to the bottom of your deck. This, okay, okay. This is basically giving you a free dark magician girl so you don't have to brick on Dark Magician Girl yeah. anymore, and you can run cards that benefit Dark Magician Girl, like that spell card that special summons a monster that if you got Dark Magician Girl in the field or something like that, you can use yeah. Magician Circle, uh, not Magician Circle, uh, n Navigation and Special on the Dark Magician and get those yeah. special plays. Okay, so that's already sick at front of the beginning. Because if you have 2,500 or, or fewer life points, you can add the Dark Magician Girl to your hand instead. This skill can only be used once for a duel. So if you got 2,500 or less life points, you can get the it's plus. Yeah, because it doesn't replace your draw phase. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Stop it, yeah, like, Yugi. Like you, were, like, you, like you were literally saying, you don't even need a rock Dark Magician Girl on your deck. It doesn't move a Dark Magician Girl to the bottom of your yes. deck. That's how I first interpreted it. No, it's just like outside of the deck, here you go. Have That's a free wild. extra card. Can you imagine playing like some random deck out deck and they got you calculated down <laughs> to your final card? And you're just like, click. <laughs> and then they're like, no. <laughs> Dude, I am just mind blown on how crazy these skills are. Yeah, these Jeez, skills are insane. I, I'm glad I got okay, another good. person to witness this. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. Like, actually insane. What? I do. My mind is like all over the place with just all these skills right yeah, now. Yeah, this Jeez. is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be like some really good videos, to say the least. This is gonna be some really good videos. Defense charge skip. Already in the game. Dark Horizon. Oh, another one. If you take total of 2,000 or more damage, easy. You can use the skill of on your next turn. You can use this skill on your next turn. I'm tripping. Play one Dark Magician Girl from your deck. <laughs> it doesn't you, say outside though, so you do have to run Yeah, so you deck. gotta play it in the deck. Yeah, it's true. It says if you took 2,500 or more damage in the previous turn, you can play one Dark Magician from your deck instead. Dude, that's okay. This skill is honestly not too bad, and I'm debating yeah. if the last one we talked about is better than this one. But I think both are. Good I in think I think if I was a Dark Magician player, I would love to play Dark Horizon. This is why. If you activate Magician Circle and you set Navigation, and your opponent does not summon Game, right? They don't summon Game. You could just take the damage. Hit the circle, banish oh, the card, true. free Dark Magician, and whatever else you want to do. That's... Konami do really want to make more money from Dark Konami. Magician, bro. Konami. They hit sealed tombs, they hit no more. <laughs> like, here you go, Dark Magician. 
Oh my god. Konami goodness. wants that dark magician bread, boy. And we ain't even looked in the cards yet. We have not looked in the rank rewards yet. And we still got like two more skills. Contract door. I see Monster Reborn. No, I see Monster Reborn. I see Monster. I see Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn playable PvP. Wait, wait, wait. No, read it. Read the skill. Read the skill. Read the skill. Oh, yes. Read the skill. Okay, okay. It says, can be used if your life points are at 2,000 or below. Add one magical contract door to your hand from outside your deck. Then add one monster reborn to your opponent's hand. That's what I was, that's what I was freaking out about. Okay, magical contract door. What does this do? Add one spell card from your hand to your opponent's hand. Then add one level seven or eight dark monster from your deck to your hand. Wait, so add one spell card from your hand to your opponent's hand, which is what the skill is already doing. Yeah. And then add one level seven or a dark monster in deck to your hand. There must oh, be dude. a broken freaking OTK. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> with I'm a, saying. With Hold a on. level <laughs> seven or eight dark monster. And it yeah, must be do. disgusting <laughs> to give them two free spell cards. And one of which is Monster Reborn. But you know what? You're not gonna be able to beat that other dark side of dimensions, Yugi, because you know why? He's running four spear Karibos. It better be. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, look at the last skill, which is clearly a magnet warrior skill. Born from the earth. Oh no, it's not. It's not a magnet warrior skill. It's something different. It's a dark magician skill. Can be used if you control the dank magician, and your life points are at two thousand or below play one metamorphotress metamorphotress i see what you're saying face down on your side of the field if your opponent controls a dragon type monster <laughs> with three thousand or more <laughs> attack <laughs> you can use this skill regardless of your life points <laughs> okay what does this card do all right Activate this card by targeting a level four or higher monster you control. Special summon this card, effect monster, level four, earth, 1000, 1000. Then equip that face up card to this card. This card is still considered a trap. And under the new rules um, of the rulings that happened, I want to say maybe two or three rule changes or manless ago. This card will technically move out of the spell trap zone. Because if special summoned this way, this card gains the attack and defense equal to the attack of the monster equipped. Okay. All right. And uh, also, if it attacks, change it to defense position at the end of the damage step. Yeah, this is the weakest one right here, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, I was reading it, and I thought it was about to get real sexy at the end, and it was just kind of like, womp, womp, but I'm pretty sure somebody's going to find a way to break it. <laughs> I mean, from my first glance at this just now, after doing some research on the other skill, I can tell that this is just, like, good for, like, an anime duel, going against Blue Eyes with your Dark Magician or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, that's, like, what's it a reference to. Um, yeah. But I'm going to be honest, though. I looked up a uh, magical contract door and there's like nothing on the card. Nothing. The only thing I did find out is that in the anime, you get to add um, any monster from your deck to your hand with it. Same effect, you give a spell card to your opponent, then you get to add any uh, monster from your deck to your hand. Hmm. That would be a little more justifiable with like the skill. But this yeah. one only states like seven or eight dark monster. Yeah, but, but I got, I a, I got a feeling that this wasn't as nerfed as it was before. And after all the shenanigans that we've been pulling in the Duel Links community, how broken we've been using these skills, they was like, all right, we were going to release Contract Door, but let's go ahead and nerf it to hell before it even comes out. <laughs> so it doesn't even yeah, become I a mean, problem. I hope somebody in the comment section can, like, tell us, like, what the broken co combo is. Because, yeah, I'm, like, looking this up right now. There's, like, Are there any Galaxy Brain cover. Duelists in the comments that can help us out? Please help us out in the comment section below. Yeah, Galaxy for sure. Brain. First up with Yuki Moto's unlocks new broken thing never introduced to duel links 10 fucking gems 
What are you gonna Dude. do, Konami? Thank you for them ten gems. I'm all out. I'm about to ball. I'm about, about to, to give me some three copies of Lion Year, baby. <laughs> That's right, my boy. <laughs> hey, we getting in there. So now we got another card. What is this? Dig of Destiny. I think this was one of those leak cards. I think, or what's it? Or maybe yeah, it's already out. So. It says, uh, um, "When you take damage, draw one card. If this card is under its owner's control, destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can draw cards equal to the number of Dig of Destinies in the graveyard." So I'm guessing you must have three Dig of Destinies in these rank up rewards. Probably. So yeah, and it's another one oh, over here too. Oh, not locked through his skill. Cool. Yeah, and Century Soldier Golem, yeah, not only unlocked through the skill, which is also pretty good. You probably want to see him in there. Oh, wow, they put another Reprint. Tackle Crusader, so now you probably can have, I think it's three now? Yeah, Yeah, Reprint. we're up to three oh, now. Yeah. So that's legit. Oh, okay. Second another, copy. A second copy. Store. Okay, another dig. Oh, three so copies. So three copies, so you get to play the skill and Century Soldier is down. Is this, Reprint a, is this a three? Yep. Is this a three now? Uh, if or, you... Or was it always two? It was only one. Wait. I'm trying to remember if it was one before, but if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that. Actually, so. hold on a second. I, I skipped over the skill. So spell boost is 13. Um, boop. Uh, Dark Horizons. Dark Horizon That's cool. That's nuts. That's 20. And did, wait, oh, did not have a another Vandalian Dragon. The second copy. That's, I believe. that's nuts. That's the second copy. And then all these and then, wonderful oh, gems. Another the Tackle, Tackle Crusader? Tackle Crusader and the Dragon. And another Van Dag. Oh, and, cool. and, an, and another Beta. So, yeah, there's a lot of reprints, which explains a lot, too. Because in the leaks, there was a lot of leaks um, here, but all of them were, like, NPC cards. And there's yeah. one of them that was an NPC card that was Black Luster Soldier Super Soldier. So oh, that would be like, sick. Yeah, so people were like, is Dia so do Yugi going to have a Black Luster Soldier? But since it was classified as an NPC card... Clearly, that's not the case, and clearly, um, his level of rewards are not that. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. The thing with Dio Yugi, he's probably gonna be meta just for how interesting his skills are. Yeah, but it is um, but Dark Magician I like just got a boost. I'm gonna be honest. Compared to other characters that have been released, Dio City's level up rewards are not bad. Yeah, because we've not got some characters in the game that have doo-doo level up rewards that are just utter garbage <laughs> like, DS like shout out to the homie dsod joey he a real one but i'm gonna be honest his level reward skills or cards are doo-doo so right now give it to me what is your number one skill that you think is most interesting and your number one uh rank up reward card i'm gonna wrap this up um, I think I'm very curious with the rock skill with the Century Soldier of Stone. I don't, I do not think it's the best skill, okay. but I definitely could see it potentially being abused either maybe now or sometime in the future for how versatile it is. Okay. When it comes to the level up reward cards, um, Ten gems. I mean, I'm I mean, gems are the gems are gems. Ten I mean, gems. I'm, I'm, and unlocking them for them easy gems. I love, <laughs> I love leveling up DSD characters and 5Ds characters because there's barely any of them. I'm tired of looking at the GX and DM dual worlds. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but I, I think I, I'm like in between when it comes to um, being interested in the dragon reprints or okay. the beta beta reprints because I really I think I like both of them equally because they both pique my um, interest equally. I feel like with this Yugi thing, they're telling you like play Dark Magician, stupid. <laughs> they're not telling you to do anything else play dark magician stupid like that's oh literally God. what they're saying it's right now like honestly right, i feel like the, the support that you received in this from from yugi moto's dark side of dimension was way stronger than kaiba's um dark side of dimension because honestly. his because the only thing that he really got was alternative evolution which you know yep. is everybody's using that and you know, he got freaking beat down and only I'm using it. So it's like, you know, it's like, there's nothing else that he's using on here at all. So it's like, you know, but Yugi, he's so versatile. Of course, it's like this, this is what happens when your uh, ancient Egyptian poltergeist is sent back to the realm from whence he came and you must be forced to grow your life up as a man and clap the cheeks good character of <laughs> so oh, that's good. get out of here my boy thanks my boy for joining me for this video y'all make sure y'all check out what 007 
and I'm sure he's going to be releasing some leak information and some other videos. Make sure you check out my boy and I'm going to let my boy Watt007 close it out. What you got for us, my boy? Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's Duel Links video on YT Dan's channel. I'm super uh, glad to be here again on Dan's channel. And yeah, this was actually a blast to do our first impressions on the SOD Yugi. And be sure to tell us in the comment section down below what you guys think about the SOD Yugi because both of our minds are blown. There is so many things to talk about with the SOD Yugi on what we have on here. And then also some of the other like leak information stuff like the tag duel stuff, the fact that there's like a bunch of magician girl like skills leaked. Like is the SOD Taya coming soon? I don't know. It's actually pretty crazy. So she's got to yeah, have that it, ice cream cone pose. Yo, if the SD Taya gets into Duel Links, expect them to come back. I'm just saying, boys. I'm just saying. <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have not been, you know, visited my channel before and you guys want to, I'd appreciate it. But if not, it's all good. Uh, be sure to leave a like on Dan's video, subscribe to his channel. And yeah, should be it from me. Take it away, Dan. All right, my boys. And as always, keep it dank. I was gonna say that too.